I am sorry about that interruption. Uh, the memory got full and I had to do the, another video. But this is going to be the continuation of uh, the concept about uh, legalizing some drugs. Anyhow, I was saying that uh, uh, I, most of these drugs are either plant the, itself uh, or an herb uh, or, uh, or the derivative from a plant, something like that. And uh, when the herb is legal, for example, I buy, uh, let's say, wild lettuce, which is a totally legal uh, herb. And it helps with your uh, asthma and also helps with cramps, muscle cramps. So an ounce of that herb off of eBay would be like uh, four bucks, five bucks, seven dollars, something like that. I just uh, uh, put an order for uh, pill forms of it. Uh, I don't know how many, but that's uh, at least ten grams. But this is in the pill form for like six bucks. So if, uh, for example, they legalize pot or tax it, legalize it and tax it, well, the cost would drop sharply, uh, but then the government uh, uh, can come in and say, hey, uh, uh, well, uh, we are legalizing it, you can just buy it, but you, you must pay a nice tax. Uh, we, we, we have all these poor people, or we have to pay for uh, police, or uh, then uh, it could uh, collect uh, hefty taxes and uh, take care of other stuff and that that herb or drug is not totally toxic you cannot really get shit faced to a point where it will be life threatening and so uh, I, I, I think legalizing pot is not such a bad idea if it helps the treasury and also uh, there is some drugs available that the people who well, like young people or people who are very much demented with this desire you know can have escape route well that, this was the concept behind legalizing alcohol in the united states i think that the in Muslim countries, uh, some uh, forms of drugs or alcohol that are not uh, totally destructive should be legalized and then taxed so the government can collect taxes. But then uh, the problem is, uh, for example, in Iran, is that the, there was uh, so much corruption and everything went on completely lawlessly, like everything else went on, like uh, pedophilia and homosexuality. Everything uh, was just totally open. And also uh, the new religions like uh, Baha'is and just the, the society had a very harsh reaction to what was going on. It was like everything was going on and uh, Iran was becoming completely like Dubai uh, or United States. So the population uh, uh, had not made the decision to do this stuff. It was because uh, well, in the Islamic law, uh, they have two form of the law and they have to, they always come together. One is called Sharia, which is the, like the letter of the law, uh, and it's very strict enforcement. And then Orf, uh, Shar va Orf, always it comes together. Orf means like the culture, the way uh, uh, a, a given society wants to enforce some to the most extreme or uh, no, they want to give jail time or fines, the, the, the extent of the, of the enforcement of Sharia, which is like uh, 
the first part is like the letter of the law the second part is like when the, somebody has already been convicted then it's the sentencing part the sentencing part it has to do with the culture of that place and also there is a lot of uh, leeways for people who have been convicted uh, to either you know like if somebody has committed murder they still can buy uh, they call it blood money buy uh, that uh, sin uh, like by, by paying a hefty price to the family maybe the family is poor and they, uh, if somebody offered uh, like a sizable sum uh, they would say well it's, the guy is already dead but this is a lot of money and we, we would just rather take the money and for example uh, there was an American uh, I, I think he was a CIA agent he was in Pakistan and Pakistanis they wanted to arrest him he, I think his name was Davis so uh, they sent in two uh, policemen or two security agents to uh, arrest him well Davis was armed at the moment they were wanted to arrest him so he, he used his gun and killed both of them then uh, the government came in and arrested him again but this time they wanted to also execute him for killing two Pakistani uh, um, policemen so uh, but the, the government of Pakistan is uh, uh, in, has good relations with the United States so they went around and talked to the judge uh, and the judge let uh, Davis uh, or the Davis team which was like a, a lawyer that was uh, specialized in Sharia law to go and pay off the families large sums of money I guess he got it from the government I think they paid the, each family like a million bucks or something so they they got him off and then they shipped the Davis off but this this practice is part of Sharia law and, and uh, if it's applied to murder which is the very extreme form of it why it cannot be applied to uh, drugs people who, who, who use drugs and they get arrested then uh, the government should uh, give them the option of uh, either taxing them or putting a very high uh, financial fine on them uh, or for example uh, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money in Iran uh, the government could come in and say hey I'm not going to enforce uh, uh, laws uh, as strictly uh, but uh, you, hey, you have to pay a huge fine and then uh, you can go uh, or um, or uh, legalize some drugs and but not legalize the other ones and fine people for for uh, for that uh, I mean uh, even uh, now when the Sharia law is implemented even uh, in uh, uh, Iran there is many tapsare which means like when the judge sentences you this tapsare is a condition which has to do with orf with, the, with our culture with the way we are Muslim and we are Shia but we don't enforce it to, to the most extreme form of it which was like uh, at the time of the Prophet Muhammad Muslims were tribes and they didn't really have jail so uh, the penalties were different but that doesn't mean that we have to enforce the same penalties we can uh, do differently we can uh, give jail time or, uh, or uh, um, financial uh, uh, recompensation uh, something like that and this is uh, totally Islamic and Muslim uh, and uh, uh, I would uh, I would legalize some drugs and tax the people who use them like uh, pot and the other ones uh, uh, even hashish is not as addictive as many drugs uh, uh, I would 
the tax them heavier, much heavier taxes, that would be equivalent to uh, if we enforced it and then somebody got caught and had to pay a huge fine. Well, instead of a huge fine, one can distribute it uh, to the users and, and make them pay a hefty price for it because the, it would be legal, the farmers would sell it to the government, but the government sell it at a huge premium and then it, the ex, excess would export it legally to other countries like the uh, United States. Uh, but then uh, also uh, doing things differently and, and uh, by taking uh, Sharia and Orf, which is our culture, into uh, complete sentencing uh, consideration, it relieves the government agents and the people who uh, have to enforce government laws, it relieves them from all this corruption and also the chance that they might get killed, which is very uh, probable. Even now, uh, like in Mexico, drug dealers, uh, they import uh, uh, weapons, they fight with, between each other, even though the, uh, the drugs are the pretty legal or cocaine is legal, they still uh, fight over territory and a lot of people get killed. So there is ways of, uh, of mitigating that by forcing the farmers to sell uh, these rights to the government and the government, even though it's legal, uh, is the, is in, can uh, uh, administer the distribution and then uh, go from there. Uh, well, as long as less people get killed or injured, uh, they, and these uh, people uh, that use it or they are totally addicted to it, they, they become less of a burden on society uh, on uh, personnel getting injured or other uh, dealers getting killed. Uh, this, this might be a better way. And also, uh, uh, there are studies that uh, uh, people who become extreme uh, drug addicts, people who are, uh, that there is no way out of it for them. They're, they're, they are not a very large percentage of society. I think uh, the percentage was like 2% or 3%. Most people uh, uh, who drink, they drink like once a week or, uh, or use uh, pot or cocaine once a week and then they kind of go about their business and come back next week after the next paycheck. Uh, it's not something that, uh, not everybody becomes a complete drug addict. And then uh, the ones that do become, or they're young and they engage in it, then they develop health problems, then they can address that through the education or health uh, centers, something like that. Uh, so basically, uh, even though I, I believe in Sharia law, I also believe in ORF, I, I use the common sense. Okay, so like, uh, uh, the Sufi master said that anything that's not common sense is, is not really part of uh, Muslim religion. It's not Islamic. It's a, it's a form of extremism. And uh, if in the modern times, the way things are going, these things bec are bec becoming available uh, instead of fighting it all the way, it, it's better to use scientific ways or uh, or be selective to use some of it, uh, legalize some of it for taxation and the other ones uh, ban them and seriously discourage people. But if, when it comes to sentencing, oh, we don't need to kill everybody. Uh, it can be uh, uh, through fines or jail time and then uh, also, uh, there is another trend that uh, new recreational drugs are being developed by different pharmacies. Some of them are developed by uh, 
by drug dealers or drug users or uh, but uh, uh, for example uh, there is ecstasy is an illegal drug in the United States okay so uh, it's a chemical it's a, a synthetic chemical right so but uh, I myself am uh, buying ecstasy but this is not the same ecstasy I'm buying it off of eBay totally legally this is a uh, herbal combinations okay that give you the same same effect okay make you uh, be able to have a lot of stamina and all that so uh, yeah other there might be uh, drugs that are developed right now or will be developed later on in the future that uh, have very few side effects they are not as addictive or not addictive at all uh, and uh, the uh, humans they, they cannot give up addictions okay this is part of our nature and uh, if uh, we just have to find different ways of uh, satisfying both sides of the, an argument without uh, people getting killed or injured or uh, also when uh, drugs are uh, uh, totally illegal it tends some uh, segment of population uh, uh, you know will disregard the uh, this prohibitions or sentencing or policing and will engage in it and they will become enriched so the for example, drug right dealers, they always become uh, very wealthy and uh, uh, the economy of uh, some places are entirely uh, uh, based on drugs. Well, well I think that the, the Bush family they have become extremely enriched because they engaged in it, but they kept it under wrap and then... Uh, um, you know, uh, I think uh, some some banks that they use they use heroin as some kind of uh, like the packets they use them as some kind of uh, bank holding, like as as you would hold gold as a collateral or uh, you know, uh, well all that uh, legal uh, uh, wrangling and all the enforcement that the U.S. government does. It just comes in and, and grabs the little guys, but the big guys, they keep going and they also become very enriched and uh, it's just uh, completely stupid. Uh, I, would, uh, I would legalize some of the drugs that have bad, not too many side effects and also uh, look at the, uh, some, some enforcement and taxation or some middle ground. Uh, and the uh, discouragement with the other ones. Well, my marriage uh, fell apart because uh, my ex she wouldn't quit drugs, but uh, it doesn't have to uh, have to be in such extreme. One can uh, uh, try different methods. Well, uh, uh, it when uh, people abuse it uh, then they, they develop health problems and they have to deal with those and uh, that's itself a discouragement uh, I don't know I don't have all the answers uh, I think uh, middle middle of the road approach uh, the Prophet Muhammad said uh, uh, the good of affairs comes in the middle of the way uh, like moderation is the best policy uh, so I just wanted to put uh, my opinion on these subject even though I, I am myself for a very long time uh, wanted to abolish or get rid of drugs in my family or to, hey I have not been very successful and the only reasons that my family members they stopped doing drugs is because of their own health problems and their own uh, money problems that they develop. Thank you.